um my hands are fucking orange anyways if you want to see how i just achieved this soft glam everyday look keep watching and i'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can look like your girl I just put my nigga in a new form Said it's all his, but baby, what is you gon' do for it? I just put these bitches on a new wave Yesterday was lame Okay, so first things first I always start with the eyebrows And for my eyebrows, um, I use e.l.f. pencil I use e.l.f.'s pencil, hold on Let me do how they be doing I got you so I use Elf's pencil, and this is in the shade, I'm honestly not sure. I think it's like cocoa brown, dark brown. So I do have a uh, off to the side mirror. So if y'all see me looking off to the side, it's cause I'm in the mirror. <clears throat> but I basically just brush my eyebrows out and you want to just basically carve around the shape of the brow. Um, I like my eyebrows semi-thick, not too thin, not too thick. So I kind of just go basically, you know, along the um, the bottom of the damn, uh, shit, y'all know what I'm trying to say. So I like to carve the bottom out first. And then I literally like to go and carve the top out too and i kind of just fill in as i go because i've been doing this for so long but i would recommend using the carve out the bottom carve out the top and then you know fill it in and i fill in as i go obviously right and don't mind i got a little sniffle got a little you know i'm in chicago okay um now that that's done i basically just take both eyebrows and i lightly spoolie the front um side note i literally washed and moisturized my face off camera i forgot to show that part <laughs> but basically my routine for that is i i like to go in with a wipe and i like to go in with my face scrub and then i basically i don't moisturize i have dry skin but i don't moisturize because i don't like oily skin on top of the foundation anyways um, I go in with a flat brush. Basically, I go in with a flat brush. And the shade, the the foundation that I use, I like to use foundation under my eyebrows. I don't do concealer because, I don't know, I think foundation is just better for me. Um, I'm using, this is Morphe in the shade Filter Tan 19. So, Morphe is like, so it's not super coverage. Um, but it's also, um, oh, it's decent coverage. It's decent coverage. I like it. It's pretty decent. So, um, I literally just pump a little bit on the top of the, um, what's it called? You know what I'm saying. And once again, I do have an all to the side mirror because I need to see a little bit closer. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this flat brush, make sure that you flatten it out so you can get the best possible lines um, on your eyebrows. And I'm basically just tracing out the shape underneath. And you literally don't wanna rush this. Eyebrows are so important. As y'all can tell, I'm super quiet. Okay. Now, for the top, I use the same concealer. I'm not too picky. I use the same concealer. And you basically, you want to keep that 
steady hand because this part can get a little tricky Let's keep that steady hand and just go in there and conceal to the gods okay Now, I need to touch up my eyebrows. But as you can see, you know, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving a little bit of something. Yeah. It's giving a little bit of something. So this is how I conceal. I don't like too much of a sharp, you know. I like it to kind of look plucked wax you know i don't want too much of an eyebrow like i like a subtle eyebrow so if it's not as perfect that's fine for me so um yeah i'm gonna go to the next one and then i'm gonna come back okay now that both eyebrows are um concealed carved out now I basically just take eyebrow eyeshadow brush yes i use eyeshadow brush don't judge me um and you just kind of I bring that out and I'm basically just going back and forth around it okay so now that we're done with our eyebrows now I'm going to take my Tarte concealer yes I use concealer and I pop this right into my eyelids I'm not too big on eyeshadow I don't really do too much eyeshadow because I'm doing subtle glams practically every other day because I'm going out so this is how I'm able to keep that attention to my eyelids but not do too much so I basically just take this in the shade medium and I pop this right into my eyelids I do a dot right here not even a dot literally just like two little specks back and forth on both sides and then I'm taking a a small beauty blender and I'm packing that in literally. packing that in everywhere I don't go too high I'm just packing it into my lid and as you can tell it's giving that closed look if you see glitter I'm so sorry some glitter bust in my um in my kabuki box and it's giving bad vibes um as you can see it's giving that flawless canvas like foundation type so where i can just pop on any shade and it's gonna automatically be bright automatically be visible even if it is a nice nude or nice brown which i tend on doing anyways so we're just taking that all over the lid i don't like to go too high towards the eyebrows because why well, I'm just not too big on foundation. I mean, too big on, let's call it. So, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, um, sometimes I might have a little bit, um, more. So I just kind of just dab it, just to even it out. Just even it out, nothing major. And I like to pop this into the lid, as I said multiple times. And once this is finished, I literally, the same brush that I use underneath for my eyebrows in this darker shade, I'm not even sure what this palette is called, but in this shade right here, in this shade, and this is how I just get that natural all around, you know, bronze look is given, bronze, pop that right on the outer lid, and I just dab it in literally just dabbing that in and um don't swipe because when you swipe you don't you get that blotchy look well this is just for me this is my routine and i just dab it in and, uh, i like to do this i feel like i feel like it gives that natural contoured eye um yeah, I feel like it's just like super sexy and like 
every time I go out, a lot of people be like, oh my God, did you do a lot of shit? Like, girl, no. I took my bronzer and I literally popped it in my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna finish both eyes and then I'll be right back to you guys. All right, so basically what I'm doing now is I'm going back in with my concealer and I'm literally popping this into the inner lid and I'm just basically fading that out. Um, as you can tell, I kind of did both. It looks a little messy, but this is when you um, you go back in with your bronzer. I'm not sure what bronzer you guys use, but go back in with those two shades that you had popped in the outer lid before and you kind of just fade it out. So I am looking off to the side because I have another camera. I mean, I have another mirror over here. But that's basically just what I'm doing. And you're just kind of going around it. Uh, not too much. So yeah, you kind of just want to keep it. Keep it subtle a little bit. Keeping it subtle, keeping it crazy looking. <laughs> so, then I'm just gonna blend all of this out until I get the desired look. Okay. So, that's it for that. Now, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Yes, I know this looks crazy, but once you kind of do your eyeliner and put your lashes on, everything's going to come together. Um, the eyeliner I use is by e.l.f. E.l.f. Cosmetics. This is in the shade Jet Black, of course. And with the eyeliner, I be winging it. Literally, I be winging it. So, I put some on the brush. Let me get my other mirror because y'all y'all not finna mess my eyeliner up. I got somewhere to go. But as you can see, take the eyeliner and I like to carve out the wing first. Carving out the wing. And I start with the inner corner and bring it all the way out. Let me show y'all. Okay, so y'all can see what I'm doing right now. This is usually what I do. So I'm basically just cleaning this up, filling it in. Yes, I do thick eyeliner. I like thick eyeliner. Fill her in. That's literally all we're doing. And let me tell you. This took forever. To even learn how to do. Baby, this took forever, okay? She's a little messy, but that's okay because we can clean her up. Is this on? Oh, okay. So it's giving Aaliyah J. <laughs> Shout out to you, girl. I love you. Now what we do? I'm taking these lashes. I don't use super thick lashes. I like to keep it very classic. Um, as you can tell, like super small, probably like 18 millimeter. 
not even that probably and i'm taking my lash glue by my nail tag perla shout out to you girl this shit is the holy grail of eyeliner like it's literally sticking it's literally holding like girl what did you it's giving everything that it's supposed to give for me it's a 10 out of 10 for me it gets super tacky and it holds all night and it's super dark so it acts as an eyeliner too if you miss some spots which i love about that and girl it is giving okay so i don't even use tweezers because my nails are long enough and i have my i have my side mirror i need to see and i'm just gonna literally pop these on like that fucking psychopath huh um uh, make sure that they're secure make sure they're at the uh literally make sure there's no in between no gaps i just use my nails because they act as a tweezer anyways they're so kind of long so we're popping that right in and the look is starting to give, okay? It's starting to give. Do you hear me? It's starting to give. <laughs> that face I made, I don't know. But I'm going to do the other lash. And then we're going to come back to you. And then we're going to get into the foundation. We're going to get into We're going to get into it, okay? Now we have... Our eyes are done. So now I'm going to take Morphe. And I'm going to pump some on the top lid like I always do. But I use a flat top brush for my makeup and I just dab. Well, honestly, I take a smaller brush and kind of put it in portions, but I can't find my smaller brush that I put into portions. So we're just going to dab this. Now, I'm going to take, um, my hands are fucking orange. Anyways, I'm going to take my Tarte back in the medium. And we're doing those under eyes. I start with my under eyes first. Dot, 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 line, dot. That simple. That simple, girls. It's that simple. I'm taking, not sure what kind of brush this is. I don't know what none of these damn brushes are. Uh, kind of like a fluffy, wide brush, I would say. Let's just get into it. Um, taking that right under the eye. We're going right in. Don't swipe. Pack it in. You want it to look effortless. So you want to just kind of pack it in. You know? Look up to get right up under there. And you just want to get that up in there. And I do have a mirror I'm looking at. And you want to give them what they desire. You, you see, you, you, <clears throat> you see what it's giving, though. You feel me? Like, that's what I like. Okay, so we going in. And sometimes, well, Tarte is very creamy, so I don't really have this problem too much. But when I do, if it starts, like, drying up, just take your primer or your set mist. Not your primer. Take, like, a set mist and just do a couple sprays. And then it'll kind of activate it also. And it'll give it that extra stay in place all night type of feel. Because you didn't put some setting spray on it. So after we get done with the highlight, now I'm going in with my Tarte Ultra Creamy. And this is in the sand. This is in the shade Rich Sand. Um, I'm just taking that. We're going straight in with the contour. I like it. I like it super thicker, creamy looking. I'm going right here. Right up in there. Perfect. I like to swatch it. I like to really swatch it. You know what I'm saying? Right up in there. Um, right on the 
dot, dot, dot. I don't like to do too much on my nose because I like the shape of my nose and I'm not trying to make it smaller. But I do like it. I do like for it to be more defined, if that makes sense. We do love a more defined nose. But I don't like to take away my features, but I like to define them, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm taking this kind of brush. I'm not even know what kind of brush it is. I'm going on my nose first. And I'm basically just, y'all know, y'all know the drill. Just going in. I have a side mirror, so just make sure y'all can see. And I'm just going in and kind of, you know, contouring it. Um, I don't like to go all the way up into my makeup because I just don't. Um, I like it to kind of stop like right lined up with my inner eye. And so I'm literally just taking this and doing the same on the exact side. And I just like to clean it up. It's giving snatch. Um, yeah, I just like to clean that up a little bit. And I kind of just take what's ever left over. Not really too much, but I take what's ever left over and just button it out. Button the nose out. I already have a little bud nose, though, but still. Now, I'm going to take this brush. I don't, I don't know what it's called. And I'm taking that into here. And we're pushing that in. We're pushing it in. You don't want to drag it. Don't swipe it. Just now, once you push both sides in. I'm taking whatever excess on this brush. I do not put more because I don't want those tan lines to show. And I just go underneath. Contouring underneath, underneath the chin. I just take whatever left. And I like to contour underneath the chin. Like right under there so I can get that, that, real, that real chisel look. You feel me? Um, I don't take it on my forehead just because I don't feel like I feel like I don't need it on my forehead. I already have a small ass forehead, literally. Sometimes I might just go in whatever excess, but I don't really use it on my forehead because I feel like it's not really needed. So after contour is done, this is when I like to go in and I like to line my lips just to get that ready. Um, yeah. I personally like to wipe off anything that's on my lips because I just want the most cleanest finish I can get. So I'm taking a wet wipe and I'm just going on my lips. Just cleaning off any excess, you know, build up, any makeup, any foundation. And I'm just cleaning up around the lip. Because I want a clean, clean lip. Now taking this, and I'm going to grab my extra mirror and I'm literally going to overline my top lip and then line the bottom lip I'm going to show you guys step by step let's do this we can do this literally taking this okay Okay, let's go back in. <coughs> so now I'm basically lining the bottom lip. One thing that I do, this is my little secret, is I come and like make a small line on the outer side of my lip, literally. So like. And you see how, like, when it's closed, it kind of gives that brat, that brat type of look. Like, it's like, you know? And I'll do it on the other side. Okay. 
you see it's giving that y'all okay girl i'm gonna go in with my lipstick by mac and this is in the shade cream de nude and i'm going to take this and go right up in here This is going to give me that, you know, that trending nude gradient with the brown look. The one that all the girlies aim for. Okay. And then, when I'm done, I go in with this lip gloss in the shade nudes and this is definitely going to give it that pop literally just a little bit you see just the top lip mm, you see that do you see that okay it's, it's getting to it for the baking we are using your girl laura marcier um, in the shade, I'm not sure what shade this is. I think this is like the ban their banana powder. Um, honestly, not really sure. Anyways, I take in Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna pack that right up in there. Right up in there. I get a nice amount. Uh, I feel like my bacon versus society's bacon today is totally different. So this is what I like to do. So please don't come down. Come, in, come at me in the comments saying, we don't do that. This is what I do. So basically, I'm taking that. Can you look? Okay, yeah. That's all I do. That's it. Taking it on the other side. Tap, tap, tap. Hopefully, I get this perfect. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me fix that on this side a little bit. Okay, yeah. Then what I do, tap tap, taking this on the corners of my nose. And I'm just hitting that, hitting that, no, hitting the corner, hitting the corner. Let's take the other side. I'm looking off to a side camera, but you get the gist of what I'm doing. Just like that. Going right under the eye. Nice and deep. Going right under the eye. Literally. And you go up as you contour. You go up. You don't want to get in your... You, don't, you go up as you bake my bad because you don't want to get into your contour that's what i meant to say so we taking that we're going up up and we baking all that in a little spot right there it'd be all right though. take this on my chin because my chin is super Oily. Taking this on my forehead, of course, just a little bit. And then I take this down the brim of my nose. I'm looking at a side angle. There we go. That That's not perfect, but you get the gist. So that is how your girl contours. And is you just let it bake. I'm just baking. Literally. Um, that's it. We're gonna I let it sit for about five minutes. If that honestly, if that honestly. Now taking a, a slanted floofy brush. I don't know. We're literally going to pat it in. 
not don't swipe and i got this technique from Aaliyah j so shout out to Aaliyah. she told me literally just pat it in because when you swipe it kind of like goes everywhere and just literally just take away from the whole point of baking getting that cut getting that you know what i'm saying and actually help from when i used to just swipe it off versus patting it in you still get that contour you still getting that that nice cheekbone and you're not throwing the powder everywhere so you come and just pat that in and i specifically like the slants on this brush because when it comes down what is this my brush okay when it comes down to my nose part i like to just literally take that and i go right underneath like that right underneath literally and i'm patting it in instead of swiping away patting it in not swiping away taking this on the other side literally and i'm just patting it in and you want to pat 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 and then going now with the nose part of course i'm just swiping it away then i pat on my go up here and then i just do this a few more times until i feel satisfied and i feel like everything is literally in and baked and perfect the way i like it um Going back in with the same bronzer palette, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Literally where I came in with the eyelid, you see, you see? I'm going to pat that off of my contour brush. And I'm gonna go right in just to give it some more definition. Um, I found that this does not take away the technique of the crease, but gives those um, high cheekbones, that high cheekbone look. Because sometimes with the highlighter and the bacon it can drown out the contour so i just like to go back in with that just right there you know nothing too 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 crazy bring it down and i like to go with that then what i like to do next is i take a gloss and i go in my lips Now I'm literally gonna take my e.l.f. Microfine Setting Mist. I usually use Morphe, but I ran out of that. So I just had to go to the drugstore and literally grab the quickest thing closest to it. E.l.f.'s brand is fine too though. It's not bad, it's just, I love Morphe. I'm obsessed with Morphe. But um, let's just do that. And you wanna spray, you wanna get everything set. Get the neck. You wanna make sure everything it's literally, and I just take fucking palette. And if you see some spots that look a little wet, like I do, because I'm a freaking knee freak. Go back in. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish my hair, and then I'm gonna come back with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I kind of just, you know, finished my hair and did everything. But this is the finished look and girls, it's given, okay? Especially if you want a soft, natural, everyday glam. Um, this is this is the glam for you. I hope you guys watch. I hope you guys follow some of my techniques. Because as you can see, this is like perfect. It's not too much. Um, it's not giving too cakey. It's just giving the perfect glam. And I'm giving you just a little close up. So you can see, you know what I'm saying? But this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And I hope you guys tune in to the next videos that I have coming up. Um, I think I have a vlog coming up. Wink, wink, vlog. So you guys should tune into that. And I'll see you next time. If you haven't, subscribe, click the like, and just share this for me, you know? So thank you guys so much. Mwah. Quasar, you turn. I just put my nigga in a new form. 
said it's all his, but baby, what is you gon' do for it? I just put these bitches on a new wave.